I've kind of accidentally fallen back into my making fun of EA builds era, and I'm really not trying to be mean. I've just been playing in some of these worlds again and kind of remembering just how bad a few of the lots are. In my Legacy Challenge Let's Play, I've been living in Evergreen Harbor and kind of trying to do some of the maker stuff. We live on this lot, I kind of had to kick out best for it, and I've been trying to make use of this waterfront community space, and that is where our problems arise. Community spaces were the new lot type that came out in Eco Lifestyle, and they're kind of interesting because they're dynamic, and then through voting in-game you can swap it to be like a community garden, for example, and the whole place transforms. And there's three options total. It can also be a marketplace, and this one is more of like a place to sell your goods, so it'll have things like these little table stalls, or it could be a maker space, and this is more for crafting and creating. So it has like the fabrication station, and the juice fizzers, and candle makers, and this is what I want my sims to have. I would very much like to use this sort of maker space, but the default version of this lot is really weird. I like the idea of this lot. I think it's kind of interesting to have this renovated open air factory sort of thing. I just don't really feel obsessed with the vibes. And the default community space that just is here on this lot on its own honestly is horrendous. I'm sorry, I can't be nice about this. What is this? <laughs> really, what is this place. I don't know, and it kind of scares me. So I'm thinking we should rebuild this, and I'm kind of torn between bulldozing it and building something from scratch, or just trying to renovate it, but truthfully, if I renovate it, it's gonna end up being completely different anyway, so I might just kill this whole lot and start over. There are a couple things that I want to keep. Specifically, I really like the glass roof parts, and I love the bright yellow, so I feel like we could try and do something kind of like that. And you know what? Maybe I should cheat this world a little bit more so we can have it look a little little bit better. There are things that can be done to improve this place ever so slightly. You do have to skip through a little bit of time, but it slowly starts to improve everything by like putting some plants in and paving over everything and it kind of looks a little bit better this way. Are you choking? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well anyway, this is what the lot looks like now. I'm also gonna enact the maker space. I don't know what that really does, but I think that should help us with the gallery. And now this is looking a lot better, so we can definitely work with this space. It's like almost unrecognizable <laughs> from the way that it was before. Okay, so for starters, we're gonna wanna have a big, kind of like factory-inspired building, I think. And I do kind of like the idea of it being tall. I also like the idea of having quite a bit of outdoor space. I'm not really sure exactly exactly how I want to achieve that, but I think that would be nice. And saying that, maybe the outdoor space should be on this side where the water is. <laughs> that makes a little bit more sense. That's probably a more pleasant area to be. I think we all know this, but I'm not exactly good at making like modern sort of buildings. <laughs> this is not really my area of expertise, but I've, I've got an idea. I'm thinking that I might try to do something a little bit like this. With this, I have basically like a tower in the middle of the building. Actually, how tall would it be if I made a full wall height. Maybe it could be all the way across, because then we could put some windows up there or something, and then we could maybe have some sort of bump out in the front, like over here. This is gonna be absolutely enormous. I think that a lot of the second floor is probably gonna be open. Like, I imagine myself having this be a huge lofted space, and then what if we put in some really cool glass sections, kind of like this? These are actually little glass floor pieces from Island Living, but doesn't that look really cool to have some sort of special glass areas there? Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what came over me. I was I was thinking it'd be cool to have some bright colors, but but I don't know about a bright yellow roof. I think that might be a little bit too much for us. Sometimes when I'm doing buildings like this, I get kind of nervous, because like, I have eyes, right? I can tell that it's a kind of strange looking building, but I don't really know what I'm doing or like how I want it to be yet. At this point, it's all kind of just an experiment, and for some reason, this doesn't want to go up. Platforms are so buggy in this game, it's so annoying. I think that this could be okay, and I'm gonna start trying to put some like trim and stuff like that around the building and see if that helps us at all. I want to do something like this where I have like a little entryway to it, but I hate how when you have the stairs up against it, it clips into the foundation. I don't want it to clip. I don't like how that looks at all. Okay, please forgive me for this, but I'm gonna try to have a bright yellow metal accent on a few of these places. I know it's a lot, okay, but this is a nod to the original building. <laughs> Even if it's busy, I think it might be cool. If not now, then when? Like when else are we gonna have a chance to 
to use a ridiculous wallpaper like this. Oh, maybe I should make it shorter. I just did medium and short wall height instead, and that actually looks better, I think. It originally had kind of like a gray brick. I'm not really sure what kind of brick I want to use on this. I never use this one, but maybe there's like good reason for that. I don't know. And if I did the black foundation, that's just horrendous. All the foundations are bad. That's like always my biggest struggle in this game is trying to figure out what foundation to use because nothing matches any of the wallpapers at all. It never looks how I want it to. Okay, I'm going through and putting columns around the sides of this real quick. So this is kind of what I'm thinking for the main layer out of the building. I think I'm okay with this. I know that I'm probably gonna want to change up a couple bits, like maybe the roof could be different. I don't really like how that looks though. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about that some more. Also, in Eco Lifestyle, we have so many cool things like this. I'd love to use some stuff like this. I just don't know if the yellow is like horrible or not. I think the yellow is a little bit horrible, but is it horrible in a fun way or in a terrible way? That's kind of where my expertise is lacking. I, I don't know how to put together buildings like this. <laughs> I've never been good at this kind of thing. Okay, I'm building like a little bit of a fence area around the dumpster. I think that we really need to have a dumpster. We maybe even want to have two dumpsters. Purely for the sake of gameplay, it's really helpful to have dumpsters with this pack. It is also helpful to have doors and windows, which I have not yet done. So let me start thinking about that really quickly too. I really like the idea of kind of wrapping windows around a corner like this. I think that might be kind of cool. Of course, this door door does not come in solid white. So even if you wanted to do that, it's kind of like, well, too bad. <laughs> it's not gonna work right, because welcome to The Sims 4. This door comes in solid white, so I guess we could use the base game stuff instead. They're very similar. The base game ones just have a slightly wider trim to them. That's not really a bad thing. I was having these visions of putting windows like that. Oh no. That is kind of ugly, isn't it? <laughs> oh god. I'm so bad at this. I just, I shouldn't be allowed to do modern builds. That's what I was picturing up there. Ooh, how does something like that look right there? Kind of just tucked away? Because that's kind of cool, right? So now you've got access through doors to all of the patios, so you can enter and exit through lots of different sides. I'm actually kind of thinking that this little bump out space might be cool if it were like fully glass. I hate this. I hate how those don't line up right, but we can't change that, so we're gonna have to just deal with it. I'm trying out a new flooring, and I think this is kind of cool. The only thing is, I really want it to line up with the squares perfectly, so I'm like kind of trying trying to go through and fix the size of everything so it works with the squares. And in that case, it means things like extending out this little bump out. I guess we could make a slightly bigger piece of grass all in that area too. And that does actually look pretty nice. And we can use a slightly more brown toned stone so it matches the bricks a bit better. Oh, this is better. Look at that little cute trim. Okay, that actually really helps. I'm looking at some of the stuff that comes in Eco Lifestyle and trying to figure out if maybe this would look cool on the side of the building or if it's like an absolutely horrendous idea. And I'm not fully settled on what the right answer to that is. I think it needs plants. I might actually go through and do some of that now then because something has to be done to fix this because it is actually looking kind of terrible. I think that big trees are really helpful for this, although that one's a little too big. <laughs> I'm kind of trying to look around at what they have in landscaping and that doesn't look good. So we can't use that as inspiration. I guess luckily for us, there isn't really that much to landscape because it's a lot of concrete. Although I guess depending on how you look at it, that could also be a bad thing. Because <laughs> I always see landscaping as a very helpful tool to like hide stuff that seems weird on a Sims build. And in this case, since we don't have much, we can't do like overgrown plants to cover up mistakes. Hold on, how do we feel about, oh, I can't place this. I want to see about putting a wall of windows right here. I just can't find, there you go. I just can't find where to place that, but maybe it being a full wall of windows is good. And what if there was like a little sign on the top floor? Oh, you know what? This would be really nice because of the yellow. We can put that inside. I don't really know what sign to use. I thought about something like this, but that might be a little bit small. And then is it weird that it's like a little LED sign? This one comes in yellow, but that's giving nightclub. <laughs> so I don't really want to use that one either. This one is meant for like karaoke bars, I think. And I don't really love that. We all always need more signs. I feel like there's just not enough of that sort of thing in this game. I'm tempted to use something like this instead. This one is from Growing Together, but I could probably make that work in the front and I can use that on pretty much every side if I wanted to. I could like scoot that in right here by the entrance over this way. We can kind of put it on this little section too. I think I like how that looks. I don't know what to do with this middle though. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. I just don't really know what I'm doing at all. I guess that's the problem. Okay, after much deliberation, this is what I've come up with for the general exterior of the building, and I'm not changing it. I've been doing this for way too long. I think I feel good about it. So now I want to go in and think about floor plan. And that's where we have to kind of consider everything that you need to have in one of these maker spaces. So there's a few necessities like the community board that we absolutely have to find a space for. I'm thinking about putting this somewhere like back here where it's easy access, but then it's obvious stuff like a toilet <laughs> and the fabricator. So we're probably going to have some sort of fabrication room. We're going to want to get a recycling section, but then it also has options for a woodworking table and like an easel, kids activity tables, the candle making station, and the juice fizzer. So I kind of like the idea of having a room for all of those things. So we unfortunately have a lot to figure out with this floor plan. I think step one, I wanted this area to be a bathroom. That's why it has so few windows. So I'll probably just space that out like that on purpose. I was also can't intersect obstructions. What are you obstructing? Is it because of the platforms? Because if so, that's really annoying. <laughs> if I had the staircase right there, I could then delete this entire space on this side. Oh my God. I hate using freezes. They're so annoying. I do like how that looks though with it completely open on the interior. What would happen if we tried to rotate it around? Is that super weird? I'm kind of curious about that. I just want it to be a little bit more interestingly shaped. I know we're going to probably use a lot of this nice light flooring inside and we'll probably get a bunch of these bright yellow accents, which is a little scary. Maybe up here upstairs we could have an extra bathroom and then most of this space could be for like the arts, so like painting and everything. I don't think that this looks good with the floor. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this. Okay, I put a little cabinetry section right here. I'm gonna put a sink in that. I think that would be really nice to have. And then if that room does become some sort of painting studio, how cool is that? I might use the university easels because I kind of like how they're metal like this and we can get sort of a collection of them placed around the room. I'd love to use these canvas storage racks. They unfortunately come in absolutely terrible colors, so I don't really want to use them. Oh my god, how cool would this thing be? Oh wait, it doesn't really fit up with the paintings, but we can put it down here. How cool would that be? I think that this back section should become its own separate room too. And even if we have rooms for these things, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't put like an extra recycler outside, kind of like right there, because it's nice to have extra. I'm having this vision right now of what I guess must have been a previous build like this that I've done, but I feel like I put a candle making station in a back room just like this once before. If I alt place these, is it gonna be like totally horrible or will it be cool? Because I think that they look kind of good tucked away in the corner like that. Of course, they're not yellow. <laughs> I don't really like the toilet sign though. You know what I mean? I think that is kind of ugly, the like symbol of a toilet. Okay, so far I have just done the bathrooms. I think they're very bland, but I don't really know what else to add into them. I did make sure that I had a bunch of toilet stalls and I put a changing table in both the upstairs and the downstairs bathrooms. Okay, never mind, never mind. Hold on, I have a new plan. <laughs> I've been sat here staring at this game, trying to figure out a solution to this for so long. This is one of the harder builds that I've ever done, to be honest. This is just like completely out of my comfort zone, which is good. It's good to do that sort of thing, but I'm struggling with it because I, I don't know what I'm doing. I think that trying to go for kind of vibrant stuff and using a lot of city living is probably the best case scenario. I'm gonna let this whole place be inspired by that thing because I think that this is really cool. And there actually is a decent amount of artwork that's kind of vibrant and matches that. So we can try and grab some of those things and really brighten the place up and then add in stuff like bookshelves everywhere. I think this will work. I, I hate this. <laughs> oh, okay. Get over it, Kayla, it's fine. I do still kinda hate it, but I'm hoping that once more of it is together and done, it'll like work better or something. Okay, I know I'm jumping around a lot, but I've got something else. I think that maybe this backspace would be good as the kids area and we can mix and match some things like the science tables and we can get some of the arts and crafts tables. I wanted to have mostly a focus on crafty things, obviously, but I'm okay with putting a couple of toys in here too. And honestly, a section like this might be nice too, cause that could be a good spot to do their homework. Would you actually have your kids come here to do their homework? I don't know, but I'm thinking realistically if you were playing with a sim who was using the makerspace, it might be nice to bring the kids here because then they can work on skills while you're doing the fabrication and stuff. So it is good to have things for everybody in here. Plus if they like light the science table on fire, at least it's their science table and not your house. <laughs> so if you're going to use one of these things somewhere, it's probably best to do it off of your home lot. Then it's at least somebody else's problem, you know? Okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit better about this already. I think I've got more of a vision now. Oh my god. 
why would anybody want it to come in that color? I mean that honestly, why? <laughs> why would anybody want that color? Okay, whatever, Sims team. <laughs> if you insist, I guess that's fine. Well, I just put a big line of these fabrication stations. I don't know if that's bad or not. I'm thinking that maybe in this art room, we can stick the woodworking stuff together too. And then I was picturing maybe the juice makers being upstairs as well. You know what I just realized is we should probably put a shower because your Sims are gonna be like digging around around inside of dumpsters. It might be nice to have access to at least one shower somewhere on this lot. Okay, here's a new idea. What would happen if we tried to organize the fabrication machines kind of in like a funky little shape? I'm trying out something like this with this kind of cool leaf accent on this wall and I think that actually looks really good together. Okay, I think we're finally kind of starting to get somewhere with this now. I'm kind of making a separate little entryway right here and then I'm thinking that it might be nice if we had some sort of counter, partially because functionally for your Sims, it'll be nice to have a computer in here. But also I think it's a cool feature to have like some sort of front desk type of thing. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna put windows there, but I realized that's where the dumpsters are. Can you put windows straight out to the dumpster? Is that so horrible? It's probably not great. But also I feel like the people who visit this lot, they, they appreciate the dumpster. I think they like the dumpster. So like, yes, it is kind of horrible, but maybe in like a fun way. I don't know. I'm making sure I add in some seats in a few places. I do think it's important that we put in like some long couches too in a few places. And I'm saying that because I think that you might need to nap. <laughs> if you're gonna use this as your like primary place for skill building, you might want to have a spot where your sims can lay down and nap. I don't know how I feel about those juice makers. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the makerspace stuff is just kind of ugly. So we have to just accept it as we're building this, I think. And that might be the whole downstairs finished, at least on the interior. Upstairs, I was planning on making this into more of that like craft room that we talked about. I think I might also get some extra computers up here. I really liked how this looked downstairs in that entryway. And I think that having computers will be helpful for us. I'm doing a lot of like kind of random eco lifestyle wall art too. <laughs> I don't know if it's a bad thing. This uses such a weird mixture of packs, but this is basically the candle room and the computer room. And then in here, I'm kind of thinking about like woodworking stuff and also all of the painting. We do have some really nice canvases that they added. I may go through and kind of put a few different swatches in there because I do actually quite like the concept of artwork kind of being placed around the room. I wonder if we can like fill in a lot of this wall and have it not look weird. I think that does look weird. <laughs> So never mind. I think that nifty knitting is actually really good for this because it has some kind of crafty wall clutter. So we can get a couple of these shelves. We can maybe even get some carts and stuff. Basically just things that make it look like people are using this room to paint. This is very like cutesy and not very modern like a lot of the rest of the building is, but I still like the concept. So I'm gonna use that anyway. And now there's three easels. So that should be enough for you skill building wise. I wanna go through now and think about the outside a little bit more. I want to get from Eco Lifestyle, there's like those little tables that you can sell stuff with outside. And this is a maker space, not the selling space. But that doesn't mean that you can't sell stuff while you're here. So I might put a couple of these tables outside. I think I want to put some of these vertical gardens out here on the back. I want to have some sort of garden planters and I don't like how most of them look. It's kind of strange, but these are actually pretty realistic. And then you could grow like soybeans in there if you wanted to make candles. I've obviously also got a little recycling machine tucked away right there, but most of this Space I want to use for like tables. Yet again, not really sure if this even looks that good, but I'm gonna put some tables outside and maybe a single grill. Oh, actually, I don't know if I like how that looks. I don't really know what kind of grill looks good for this, but these are metal chairs, which realistically would be horrible. Imagine how hot it would be sitting in these metal chairs that are baking in the sun, but it's the Sims, so we don't have to worry about that. And then I want to put a grill. I don't know what kind is best for a community lot space. I guess this one probably is, but I don't really like like how that looks. I guess it doesn't matter. I just mostly want that there so that other Sims will cook you meals. <laughs> because then you can eat stuff that they're cooking and that'll save you time. Over here, this is the last space that we have to decorate. There's a couple things that I wanted to do. I was picturing myself getting like a bench or something right here. I don't know, I just had these visions of like a bench sitting underneath the weird hexagon thing. <laughs> 
And you know what? This might be a bad idea. I'm like throwing in a whole extra pack by doing this, but I'm actually kind of wondering about putting this Home Chef Hustle thing down. I don't know if your Sims can handle it being this close to the edge, so this might be bad, but how cool would it be if you could like sell your pizzas outside in the back? And actually saying that, maybe the gemology table would be nice to add in here somewhere. It also does not really match the vibes, like <laughs> style-wise, I guess, but functionally, it would be really helpful to have that here for extra skill building. And then if we add like knitting and cross stitch, you can really do any of the skills in this place and that's probably for the best. So I think with that, my waterfront makerspace is done. I don't really know how this uploads to the gallery. I think cause it's uploaded as a makerspace, it should be okay. But this whole pack works kind of weird. So fingers crossed that it's good and hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm serious, this has been a journey for me. <laughs> I have not felt more stressed and more unsure of myself in a Sims build in a long time. This one took me a really long time to build but it should be useful for my Sims. So I'm glad to have it. <laughs> <laughs> even if it was a journey to get here. And I think on that note, I'm gonna end this video right here. Here's a quick overview of the finished product. We've got a cute little space to sell your goods over here. You enter through this front door into like a little lobby. We have recycling machines, fabrication machines, juice makers, kids stuff, a bathroom with a shower. Upstairs, we've got some candle making stations, some computers, some jewelry making, woodworking tables, easels, cross stitch, knitting, ev everything is in this place. <laughs> and there's two bathrooms, both upstairs and downstairs. So hopefully it's easy for you to access. And it's on the gallery so you can download it. And I'm gonna go, so I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh, and dumpsters, it has dumpsters too. That's also very important.